timer is right up there. All right, here we go. Get your guesses ready. Good luck. And guess in three, two, one, begin. There we go. Uh, sanctuary, golden sands, cannon, uh, mermaids, crescent, discovery. <clears throat> go. And then shark bait and plunder. Ooh. Very tight, by the way. Cargo with spoils of plenty. Okay. Going to spoils, so a little bit out of the way, but not not crazy. Would have been nice if this was North Star Sea Post. All right. <clears throat> Good luck on the guesses. Spoils the plenty as soon as he hits the ladder. We're gone. All right. At least this gets us out of the way fast anyway. Yep. So very, very, very tight Athena compared to what it was last time. I was doing these myself. I did two solos and they were very spread out. So this is much nicer. Hopefully we get a rowboat along the way here somewhere. It's nicer if someone can take the rowboat to turn the cargo in while the other person goes somewhere else. No wind, unfortunately. No boat at the sands. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Sands is our next one, I guess. We'll get a pressing right after this. All right. There we go. Um, if anyone's having trouble guessing, by the way, because someone's already guessed your time, um, just type in exclamation mark guesses. It'll show you a list of all the guest times, so you can choose one that's not guessed. Uh, if you forget your guest time, you can always type an exclamation mark guest space question mark. It'll uh, show you your guest time as well. And you have till 30 minutes on the timer up there. So timer in the top left, you have till 30 minutes. Good luck. Heck of a layup. Yeah, not bad at all. The only way it gets better is that there were some doubles. Exactly. See, these, these type of runs depend on where the cargo is and then where the skellies are, basically. Yep. Cargo is. In my vast experience of time to Athena's. <clears throat> Alright. Um. And what I'll do is I'll drop all these off the front. You can take the, car, uh, the cloth, and then I'll just yep. go down to Crescent. Yep. The nice thing about having uh, more than one person is we'll just drop all this stuff off the front of the boat. I'll take off the Crescent, and then Pappy can just turn this in. It doesn't got to be pretty as long as it's turned in, you know what I mean? Uh, where are the Skellies for this one? They are Cannon Cove, Crescent Isle. So we're going to get Skellies out of the way right away, too, which is nice. And Crescent's a nice place to have skellies. Cannon can be good, can be bad. Uh, Crescent's usually, I mean, unless they're in the cave on the bottom, which even then it's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, it's a skelly galleon. Redman, how's it going, dude? Good to see you. It's going to be a very fast run. It could be. We'll see what happens. You never know. PvE, PvP, where skellies are located. Type of wind you get. Like right now we have headwinds. We're going to have wind down to Crescent, though, which is nice. As long as it stays the way it is. Alright. <clears throat> Got some good islands, though. The farthest one down is, what, Sharkbait? So, not the worst. And Sharkbait, I think, is a riddle, yeah. All 
All right, see you at Crescent. Later. <clears throat> Litter. Those always take seven years. Yeah, just litter in the ocean right now. Uh, I guess 118, remember the plan, Pappy, and make sure Taze doesn't know. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, so skellies here. We'll find out where they are. Should be able to... On these, usually what we do is either just use fire to get them quick, or one person goes on land, gets them all clumped up, and then the other person shoots cannonballs. Let's see what we can do here. The trick to finding the skellies early, though, is getting close enough to the island that they spawn in, but not close enough you hit, obviously. Hey, Captain. Happy Canada Day, man. Happy Canada Day. You hate Plunder Valley for uh, Skellies? Yeah. They're usually not in a good spot there. Very rarely are they in a good spot. The only really good spot for them is on the North Beach or the West Beach. Other than that, they're pretty terrible. Okay, I'm not seeing Skellies yet. In front of me, I think. I go right in front. <clears throat> All right, I will shoot the cannonballs. So, Papio clump them. I'll shoot. Hopefully, we'll get these guys done quick. That right, should be good here. Candidate, anyone celebrating? We got a boom boom. Okay. Even clumped up. Both dead. Oh, what the hell? This guy's still alive? <laughs> that guy survived like three cannonballs somehow. <clears throat> All right. One captain up, regular skellies. Okay. Perfect. It's clobbering time. There you go. Mm, yeah, started to hit them when they're moving around. <clears throat> uh, what's Canada mean slash four? Uh, it's for Canada's birthday. It's when it turned into a country. So 1867, Day of Confederation, when they turned the three territories into a uh, country. Okay, Captain, with some kegs. That happened. All right. I'm gonna shoot these dudes. One of them must have taken a swing at the keg. Yeah, probably. Light them all up.
Raven. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, Raven. Ravenhawk coming in with four months. Two months late getting that beard on the sub badge. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you very much, sir. If you got those taste pumps, can you throw them in there, please? And thank you for Raven coming back in. Four months in a row. <clears throat> Appreciate it, dude. Uh, if anything gets together, barbecues, fireworks. Um, except for uh, coronavirus screwed us up. Yeah, exactly. Usually we uh, we go for lunch downtown. At, like, and we sit on a patio for a couple a uh, couple hours or whatever. But obviously can't do that <clears throat> this year. So, Joseph, thank you very much. Appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you. That went right over you on purpose. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. Let's put up Golden Sands first, then go to Cannon Cove. Just in case we got to take this stuff to North Star. Does Pappy stream? He does not. He does not. <clears throat> Thank you again, guys. I'll get some pumps in there as well. Trying to do a time to Athena right now. If you aren't aware of what a time to Athena is on my channel, you can type in exclamation mark time to Athena, figure it out. Um, you can still guess. You have another 19 minutes to guess. So still plenty of time to get your guess in if you want to. Um, I guess we only have four skulls. Might as well just turn them in. Might as well turn these skulls in while we get the cargo. Yep. Actually, I guess I'll put them up here. I have a question. Yep. Would it have been cheating if I went around and got a robo before you even got on the server? I don't think it's cheating, but like, I kind of look at that as like, it's kind of cheesy, you know? Yeah, okay. I don't really look at it as cheesy. I don't think it would be against the rules or anything. Like, if we were to do a second one, we had a rowboat, I wouldn't get rid of it. Oh, for, for sure. <clears throat> yeah, it just felt a little cheesy to me, too. Yeah. <laughs> First shinies I had to ignore. Alrighty. Won't be the most won't be the prettiest parking job, but we'll park it here. <clears throat> Yeah, you're good. We're good, we're good. Alright. Let's turn these bad boys in. And then, I don't know where we're grabbing these this cargo from. Oh no, I'm late! <laughs> well, you still have time to guess. It's until 30 minutes to guess, so. Tom the tool Tommy guy. Boy. Good old Tommy boy. Alright. Mermaid. Okay, perfect. Go to mermaids anyway, that works. Yep. That definitely works. We just gotta get to Cannon Cove now. Imagine if it was like Marauder or something. Oh my god, it'd be the worst. Uh, grab one of these. Efficiency. So the reason we're turning these in now, it's like we could wait till the end, but it's like they all have to be turned in, so why not turn them in now? Just get them out of the way. It's always how I look at the stuff. If we have to stop at an outpost anyways, why not turn in what we have? Uh, oh, that's Wanda. I went too far. Mm, 81 minutes. It's duo time to this. It's a duo time to Athena. Yep. Pappy's with me today. Okay, so we got... Two cloth, two plants. All right. Let's head to cannon. You can see how much quicker it is just by having one more person. How much faster we can possibly go. It's crazy. And we have a really good setup for this one too, so. Yo, yo, what's up? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Happy Wednesday for anyone. Anyone in Canada, happy Canada Day. 
July 1st already, which is kind of insane. Just overall. Thought I heard him. Hope he's feeling a lot better and maybe a little less stressed. Yeah, uh, he uh, he said he's feeling better, so it's always good. He's not going to be involved. Good. Mm. good. All right, this is our second set of skellies. And cargo and skellies out of the way right away, which is nice. Always nice. In the first 15 minutes, we got cargo done, skellies done. We're doing our second skellies here, and then pick, we already have our cargo picked up. And it's going to an island we have to go to anyway. Yeah, so. they're all easy, too. Oh, yeah. Now you say how much quicker it is with uh, more than one person. I want to change my guests uh, to less time. You always can. You can if you want to. You have until 30 minutes to change. Just know if you change your guests, someone can take your guests. You can only have one guest, so. Yep, you can change your guests. Just do the same thing you did uh, to start. So if you wanted to guess a new time, just type exclamation mark guest with a new time. It'll just, uh, it'll overwrite your current one. So, like I said, just know that someone can take your current one. If you change. But you have until 30 minutes to, to guess or change your guess. That's why we do it till 30. We don't, like, extend it because, like, after 30, if something good or bad happens or whatever, like, you can't change after that. You're locked in. Because, like, if you guessed right and then on the last island something crazy happened, you could change your guess. Obviously, it wouldn't be fair. So, you have 30, 30 minutes to see what's going on and then after that, everything's locked in. Just going to leave it right here in case they're out in the bay here. Yep. Um, doesn't look like it. Rub out. Alright, I'm going to... I'm going to run to the back. I'm going to run to the back, see if they're near the cave or something. Where are these freaking skellies? Mm. Yeah, record for duo, I think, is like 206. Oh, they're on the back beach. Yep, coming around or? Yep. I'll grab the boat. You're gonna grab the robo? Yeah, I'll grab I'll, the robo too. I'll start frying these up. Okay. Got it, got it. Okay, so these skellies are on a really in a really good spot. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Just morphed me into the rowboat. Frying up the skellies. Storage crate back here as well. Ah, you never know, man. It's all up to RNG. All up to RNG. We'll see what happens, though. We have really good locations on Skelly, so that's nice. But uh, wind can play a factor. Um, the cargo's good, so that won't play a factor anymore for us. But uh, where the Athena chest is plays a factor. Whether we get caught in some type of PvP, you never know. <clears throat> we could try time to Athena with Athena Emissary after this. actually fly the emissary okay I'm gonna post up like I did before fire cannons at them wherever the heck they are right now Right around to see the clip I sent you. Uh, which clip was that? Boom, boom. I got it. Are you talking about the one on Instagram, the Modern Warfare one? I did. It seemed like an insane <laughs> little, little double kill right there with the sniper. I did see it. The shot, 360 shot. Perfect.
Captains are up. And they're gold. Sick. Are you too close if I bring them into the water? Oh, they're actually perfect right where they are. Cool. All of them. <clears throat> Bob, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Ignore the gem, ignore the gem. <laughs> He's having to ignore that extra loot. All right. I forget where our next spot is. Uh, I guess mermaids. Get rid of this cargo. And get the X's done. Oh, yeah, the X's are all down low. Nice. <clears throat> get the gem? Nah. Nope. If we get that gem and someone loses their guest by a few seconds, they're going to be pissed. Nice shooting. Thank you. Alright. Plants look like they've just been watered anyway. We should be good. We got some good wind here too. I'm liking it. 21 minutes in. Got both our skellies done. Um, just about to get our second cargo done. Perfect. Thank you, Bob. Jay, we're gonna sing. Good morning. Happy Canada Day. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that, dude. Get some Taze coins in the chat for the 500 bits. Coming in from Bob Rico. Thank you very much, man. Happy Canada Day for any Canadians. Happy Wednesday for everyone else. Hope we're having a good one. <clears throat> I'll just make it interesting. I say it's going to be close, but you'll break the record. Okay. Break, like, what record? My, my duo record or the overall record? <clears throat> Do you want to deliver cargo while I get started on the X's? Sure. Let's get two birds stoned at once. For you. Well, I was gonna use robot. Oh, okay. Claw. I don't know. What do you think? Well, mermaids like can't really, can't really row to the guy. Like we'll be clo close enough to the land. <clears throat> the 206 record, which I think is the overall record. For duo it is. If you go to exclamation mark record, you'll see like the overall record for a 100% Athena. It's under an hour is the overall record. I think it's a four person galleon that got it. I think it's like 56 something. We spoke earlier and said your duo record was 206. What's my duo record? Did I get that wrong? <clears throat> duo, oh wait. Oh, 106. Sorry, 106. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 106. Not 206. My bad. Yeah, 106. I don't know why I was thinking 206. When my single record's 117. <laughs> my bad, my bad. 56-14 for the best overall four-man galleon? Yeah. So, <clears throat> we're aiming for that. We'll see what happens. Basically, right now, it depends where the Athena's gonna end up. Because we have a pretty good layout for everything else. It'll just depend where the Athena's gonna end up. If we have to travel like all the way back to Smuggler's Fort or something, it'll waste time, obviously. It just depends. We shall see. Second pirate slowing you down now. <laughs> no way, man, no way. No freaking way.
trying to come in as hot as we can. <clears throat> Zanek, thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Happy Canada today. Parked right here. Hey, thank you very much, Project. Appreciate the 60, man. Let me just get started on these X's real quick here. Okay. There's a X right about here. path up to the top. Semsi, what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, did Nash and Athena last night. Final quest was Devil's Thirst. Chest spawned on Fel Fletcher Fetcher's Rest. Fletcher's Rest? Fetcher's Rest. Uh, all the way north. Yeah, it happens, man. It happens. A little bit further down here. There we go. Alright. What up, Semsi? Good to see you. A gem on an Athena? Yeah, since they switched it up, because you can get Athena items on here now, too. Oh. <laughs> Pap Papu lit that off. That timing was insane. I thought that was me who lit that by you. That timing was crazy. I heard yours go off, and I got one, so, you know. Um... Join the boom boom club. Stone. I think it's right here. Yep. How'd the Ash and Athena treat you anyway? Alright, one more X. So see the efficiency, like the fact that Pappy can toss in the cargo, and I already have three X's dug up, so the cargo's done now. And we're almost like we were literally one X away from being done with the island. So just the efficiency is crazy when you have two people. Okay, so that's this. Okay, it's got to be like right here. All right, let's boogie. One of those explosions was Pappy. Uh, that's crazy. The cadence is perfect, right? So there was a there's a a keg right by the the camp right there with that guy and pappy lit that keg <laughs> oh nice nailed it pappy lit that keg that's why it, like the cadence was like that gotta admit it's not a small party <laughs> what are you trying to say about butt crack bob he's in peak physical condition for a butt crack bob he certainly is peak physical condition man okay uh plunder i guess Alrighty. Let's get over there. Mm. I'm trying to think what the best way would be to do this. Because you got discovery, plunder. Trying to think if maybe I go over to one of them. Oh, geez. I just got hit off by that cannonball. Awesome. Trying to that think maybe awesome. if I go over to one and do one, but I don't know. Oh, he creamed our wheel, man. <laughs> creamed our corn. <laughs> My guess is going to be way off just how quick you uh, can load and sell. Well, you got 15 seconds to change your guess if you want to. After that, everything's locked in. After 30 minutes. Right, unfortunately, we got the headwind now, too, so it's slowing us down. 
Um, do you want to row over and start the X's on Discovery, and I'll do the riddle on Plunder? That's what I was thinking. I think that'll work out. Because the X's are perfect, like, for one person to do pretty quick. I'll just get this riddle done, come back over, meet him, and then we'll go down to shark bait. What's up, Big Reed? How you doing, man? Seeing how quick we're doing this, we'll probably do another one, too. So if you guys missed it, didn't get your guess you want or something like that, we'll probably do another one, just FYI. So, in my experience doing all these timed Athenas, the two biggest time wasters for me are... Uh, headwind and uh, well, headwind and then either skelly location or location of the cargo. It just depends. Like those two location things are, are big ones, but headwind can waste a lot of time depending how far you got to go. Like if we had wind right now, we would be like I, I could probably get the riddle done. You know, one step one step quicker than I'm probably going to be able to. It's not even, like, close to being able to get the wind, either. Nice thing is, Discovery and Plunder aren't too far apart, so... <clears throat> this is the worst, though, when you're waiting. Like, you're trying to do something really quick, but you have to wait, because there's no way you can go faster. This is the worst right here. Might I suggest the opposite? Do you want to do the riddle? No. Um, you take the rowboat to plunder. I take this one, do discovery. You start rowing through shark bait, and I'll pick you up on the way. Okay, sounds good. Let's get a tiny bit closer before I push off here. You aren't playing Sea of Thieves unless you have Headwind? That's true. Yeah, that's probably a better plan, actually. Good call. Good call. Pappy's the brains behind the operation. Because I can definitely get Discovery done better with the sailboat than the robot. Mm -hmm. I'll just get a little bit closer to this thing. Yeah, then I'll just start going towards Shark Bay. That's perfect. Your Shark Bay's directly south. All right, if you want to turn for uh, Discovery now. Farewell, Godspeed. More grog speed, whatever. <laughs> Please All don't right. glitch out, Robo. We're good. Hit Mart, what's up, dude? How are you, man? Good to see you. All right, here we go. Warp speed. <laughs> Rowboat speed. So, Pabby's got four X's he's going to do on Discovery. He'll push off towards Shark Bait after that, and I just got this riddle to do. I'll carry the chest with me, whatever I get, and then uh, we'll head back, both head towards Shark Bait. Get shark bait done as quick as we can, see where the uh, Athena is. And then essentially what we're going to do is, depending where the Athena is, if there's an outpost on the way to the Athena, we'll put everything in the rowboat. Someone will take the rowboat into an outpost, turn it in, and then what, the other person will go get the Athena. already got started. Perfect. Look at that mermaid statue just sitting there taunting. Sorry, mermaid statue. Got no time for you. I think the mermaid statue's actually heard rowboats too, so. Alright. 
It's uh, hidden riches. Painted feathers to the north. All right. <clears throat> Mythic, what's up? Good to see you. At the end of the stream yesterday, uh, Fragout gambled away his bits or his bolts, and I gave him fifty percent of mine. So he's a millionaire now. I forgot how many I had. <laughs> he had like four million. Uh, these feathers. I think I went too far. I think I passed right by him. What does it want me to do, anyways? Sound a tune. Reading this map. Da, 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 at the tunnel mouth looking to the South Seas. Okay. Skelly just did not like what I, whatever I was playing. <laughs> he did not like it. Freaking jerk. Alright. What compass is that? This is the legendary compass. The pirate legend one. Alright. And... Uh, underneath the stone gate to the north. Alright. Back up where I was. The stone gate one's always annoying. Because it doesn't really look like a gate. It looks more like a... I don't know what you'd call it, but it definitely doesn't look like a gate. Okay, uh, five paces west. Five paces west. Um. Run faster, butt crack. this on the way no time wasted uh can't trust them canadians too quiet up there i know right <laughs> something's going on up there they all seem way too nice what up taste still loving the stream the content and the community Keep being awesome, brother. Hey, thank you very much. Mr. Yabrivo coming in for five months. One month shy of getting that beard badge. Hell yeah, man. Thank you very much, Yabrivo. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday, man. Thank you for coming in, dude. Good to see you. Alright. On me way to shark bait. <clears throat> Yeah, thank you very much, Yabrivo. Appreciate that, man. We got those Taze Pumpski. Throw them in there, please. Thank you for Mr. Yabrivo. There we go. Mid-row, I'll get some in, too. Thank you, dude. All right. Now we just got to get to shark bait as fast as we can. Uh, my 24-foot pool is being put up right now, so uh, heck yeah. It's a great Wednesday. Frick yeah, man. Sounds delightful. Yeah, that was a good call on Pappy's part, because if if uh, I got that riddle done, I'd have to go back over there and grab him. Now I can just row to here, and he can uh, he can come down and meet me. That actually works out way better. That's awesome, though, you bro. Is it it's the above-ground pool, then? I'm assuming. Other than that one sloop, we haven't even seen a freaking boat either. Good for time, but man. The last couple streams, I feel like I haven't seen anyone. Uh, saw a galleon take down, taken down by a sloop today. Same two ships. Uh, is this cannon? Or is this common, or am I uh, really lucky to witness it? Um, it just depends. I've, I've taken down uh, some, some galleons before on a solo sloop. It just depends. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. It really depends, too, if, if the galleon's paying attention. If you can catch the galleon off, uh, like... 
if, if they're on an island, they're not paying attention or something like that. You get a few cannonballs in there, the galleon fills up pretty quickly. So, if a, if a sloop can catch a galleon off, uh, off guard, or especially if they can get a keg on them. But uh, it, it can definitely happen, for sure. I wouldn't say it's common, but I wouldn't say it's uncommon either, to be honest. It really doesn't depend on the boat. It depends on the crew on the boat. Any boat can be super deadly, depending on what crew it has. So freaking handy that I can see you. Yeah. <laughs> I just pointed that the emissary award for this month is the sales again. I think they under uh, undermine the emissary system uh, by not having more rewards. So a lot of people think that. What they did was they probably got sick of too many people complaining about not getting time limited stuff. Like, you know, whenever there's a time limited cosmetic and everyone's like, oh, I want it, I want it. Like, why can't we have it again? Why has it got to be time limited? They probably got sick of people complaining about that. So what they're doing is um, every two or three months, they're going to switch the emissary rewards so that people have plenty of time to get it and they complain less. I mean, they'll still complain, don't, don't get me wrong, but they'll probably complain less if they have more of a chance to get it. So instead of, like, re-releasing time-limited stuff, I think their fix was to just make stuff available longer so you have more of a chance to get it. If I'm on the boat, it's not nearly as deadly. And I've got wind. Perfect. Well, I'm gonna get to your dead ahead now. Actually, I think if you just go park it, we'll be fine. Tease baby. Looking slick, Daddy. You have been my A1 since day one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate that, Honey Johnson. Coming in with the 37 months tier 2 resub. Thank you very much, man. Frickin' day one sub right there. Tier frickin' 2. Much love, my man. Thank you very much, honey. Get some taste pumps if you got them in there. Hype up the tier 2 37 month resub, man. Appreciate you. <laughs> Pappy waving at me. Oh, did he F up? Was he waving at me and F'd up? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he got the anchor dropped in time. That almost worked out perfect for timing. I'm right yeah. here. Well, when I looked at the map and it was shark bait, it just made a little more sense. Those ones. Yeah, true. All right, there we go. Now he's got this riddle to go. Yo, thank you very much, honey. Appreciate you, dude. Let's get this started here. Hey, patient, happy Canada Day, man. Thank you, dude. Okay, uh, hold the light up uh, high. At the entrance to the north cave. Where oh, there is no sky. Okay. <clears throat> Such a hurry, you never even opened it. Yeah, exactly. Didn't even touch it. My... Oh, north cave's over here, I guess? Oh, yeah. It's around there. Thank you, man. Appreciate that, honey. Hope you're having a good Wednesday, man. This map at the shark statue on the west west outer ring. Gotta go back the other way. Stormtrooper shooting at me here, man. Alright, west outer ring. That was my guy just turned sideways there. The shark statue on the west outer ring, uh, west by southwest of the palm trees. I guess here. Uh, can I dig here? <laughs> okay. So from this, west by southwest of the palm trees. Why are you screwing me up on this game? Come on, man. So stupid. 
Wasting my damn time. Mm -mm. It's way too early. What's up, Frago? Good to see you, man. What up, dude? Alright. You let me know if it's close or not. I gotta go look. Mm. It's not huge far. Okay. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's take a look. Oh, Rum Runner? It's right above North Star. Um, okay. Trying to think of how we can do this efficiently. That's not bad at all. I'm trying to, I think, I wonder if I could, uh, Take the rowboat to turn in this stuff at Golden Sands while you go to Rum Runner. Sure. That would be more efficient. Yeah. Everything on here is from the Athena, right? Yeah, nothing extra. The only extra thing we have is a uh, supply crate. Okie dokie. I think I'll turn this stuff into Golden Sands. I don't know. Do you think the turn-in is going to take a long time with the two of us? I'm not sure. Like, if I can get this turned in quicker, I just wonder if it would make any difference. I think loading this stuff on the rowboat anyway would be more efficient. Yep. Because Rum Runner's not really near an outpost. Man, the little you hitches want to go on the west side of uh, Wanderers, then. Uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, I think that's everything. Headwind again, too. Frickin' headwind, man. Uh, this. See, headwind's a killer right now, because, like, depending on, like, our, our finish here, could be a matter of seconds to felt like uh, win. that uh, changes like who wins or who loses a record and the wind is just kind of screwing us right now we had win for half of it so we didn't have a terrible we didn't have terrible win the whole time but definitely wasn't great especially to finish here Some plunder. Good old hit, Reg. <laughs> Two hit markers on that. Uh, and no on those kegs. Yeah, no blow. Oh, we got a snoop over. I just saw that. My fly wanderer. I think I'll probably stay on the boat then. Uh, black? I don't know if I'm saying that right or not, but thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. If we had wind right now, I, I don't think we're going to beat the overall record. I think it's like 56-something, someone said. I don't think we'll beat the overall record. If we had wind, I think we'd beat it, though. So that's how close it's going to be. Mm -hmm. 
I think I missed your last message. You can just retype it. Just copy paste. It happens sometimes. What up, the Wolfman? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Come on, wind. Change for us. Change for us. Yeah, guessing time expires at 30 minutes. So people can't guess. Like, if you can guess right now, obviously it'd be unfair. After 30 minutes, it locks in everyone's guesses. Okay, I think that's probably the same sloop we saw before. Mm -hmm. It needs a 30-minute delay right now. <laughs> Don't even know what I'm doing right now. You can type an exclamation mark time to Athena. Type that in the chat. All one word. It'll tell you. Karen's not going to spawn with uh, flame face up there. Sabesius, what up, man? Good to see you. I think if Pappy takes this to Rum Runner and I go turn in a Golden Sands from here, I think we can actually make a pretty good time. Again, I don't think we're going to beat the world record now because of the headwind, but that's how it goes. Happy Candidate from Quebec. Happy Candidate, man. Good to see you, Axel. Hope everything's well with you. This is the way. <laughs> this is the way. Alright. Frickin' wind, man. Just trying to think if it would be quicker to go to Golden Sands. I think so. If you want to go to Rum Runner, I'll go to Golden Sands. Yep. Ryan Scott, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Happy Canada today. I think we're probably good, right? Godspeed, you human pudsicle. <laughs> All right, no glitches? I like it. I think Sanctuary is the closest for Pappy after this. All right, now we row. You doing anything to celebrate? Uh, not really. I mean... We might just kind of go for a walk or something. There's not really much you can do with all the restrictions in place right now. So usually we uh, go downtown, have like a, go to a patio and like have lunch and enjoy some beers or whatever. But not really much you can do these days with restrictions. It's nothing too crazy. Choppy day out there on the seas. Yeah, seriously. Getting launched in the air right now from these waves. Yo, Prison Mike, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Heck. <laughs> oh, man, I honestly do think if we had wind going up to that Athena, we would have we would have broke the overall record. That's close, man. Come on. Just keep rowing. Mm. 
yeah, we'll do another timed Athena after this. So if you guys don't know about the timed Athenas, you can type in exclamation mark timed Athena, all one word. Type that in. It'll tell you the details. And we'll do another one after this. What up, Hopeless? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Now I want to find and cook a lot of pork chops in the water. Uh, record it and say, uh, man, this is a choppy today. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah, I think Pappy just got the rum runner. That's a fair response. Me and me paddled around uh, the map in a little boat. Great fun. Nice, dude. The boat does not react with the world events. Uh, too, so it makes you great for getting into places. Oh, yeah. That's why, like, you want to sneak into, like, a... Uh, you want to sneak into a fort or something like that, an active fort we someone's on? sail separately for a better time. <laughs> you can always row in with a rowboat. No cannons are shooting at you. It's beautiful. My boat has not come to a full stop. Just getting the golden sands now, so we should probably finish up right at the same time. Once here, good. The thing is, your boat doesn't register here either, so if someone new was to spawn on, they potentially could spawn right here while I'm turning in. Because the the robo doesn't register as a boat. I think it's probably gonna be the best spot to turn in. Yeah, by the time Pappy gets to sanctuary, I should be fine turning in here. See a break. All right. That just spun around. stuff in here yeah I think I think we made the good choice to it's an emissary time. boat all right farting around it I think whispers okay mm -hmm. okay Laguna whispers is south of me that's Laguna whispers right there. there's no boat at it Got wind. Perfect. Looks like a clueless brig, man. Okay. And this pretty, I'm just gonna get into the bar. Yep, no problem. No problemo. He's almost here. Perfect. Damn it. Hey, when you mean to do something and you sit down instead. Ah, we're not going to get under an hour. Damn, we're close. Headwind screwed us. Alright, 
Nothing else in the rowboat. As soon as he gets in here with the chest. We will wait for him. Uh, hey, when you mean to do something, you uh, sit down instead. Do you mean when you try to wake up in the morning? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You just uh, waiting on me now? Yep, just the Athena. Cool. Um, I only... Wait. I'm from watching oh, other people. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. If you will... What? What's wrong? Oh, good time. Over a minute, over an hour. Yeah, we got screwed by the headwind. He's screwed. screwed by the headwind. Oh, well. 101, man. 101. Good friggin' time, though. Especially for two people on a, on a sloop. Still a sick time. Yeah. 